Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading. This is your love reading. We're going to take a look at January 15th through January 31st, 2021. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Scorpio. Make sure that you hit the notification bell after you subscribe. If not, you won't get notified of weekly readings. So make sure you do that. If this one does resonate, the link to the extended reading is below where we will dive into your person a little bit deeper. See how they really feel, what they're up to in their everyday life, etc. If y'all need a private reading, that link is below as well. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Y'all stick around to the end of the uh, reading. I'm going to pull a few cards for finance, money, career, all that good stuff. Just a little quickie, all right? I'll be doing a more detailed career and finance reading later in the month. All right, Scorpio, I'm using the Rider Waite for your uh, main spread and the Fountain Tarot to clarify. All right, what happened in the past? What do we have? We have a High Priestess, Pisces energy. What's going on right now? What's the current energy? Temperance. Might be connecting with a Sag, Sagittarius. What's on your person's mind? What are they thinking? King of Pentacles. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, so if you're currently partnered with someone or you're dealing with somebody right now, this is what they're thinking. If you're on a break or you recently broke up and you just kind of want to see what they're thinking, that would hold true as well. How do they view you? What's their perception of you? The Five of Wands. This is just how they perceive you. It doesn't mean it's true, right? What's going on in their emotions? How do they feel deep down? Justice. Libra energy. How does this person want to move forward with you? The six of wands. What's coming in that you don't see? What's the hidden factors? The nine of pentacles. All right, let's scoot you down, Scorpio. What's your advice from the tarot? What do they want you to do? The ace of swords. Maybe take that sword and cut through the BS, right? Get Have some sort of breakthrough here. What's the outcome for you and this person? We have the Wheel of Fortune. So big changes are coming. That Wheel of Fortune is the energy of the universe kind of bringing in energy. You can hop on or not, but it's moving. It's in the upright. You have actually all uprights in this. Pretty good. So a lot of you are going to be vibrating on that high level if you aren't already. All right, let's start clarifying this bad bitch of a reading for Scorpio. All right, so again, I'm going to use the Fountain Tarot to clarify. In the past, we had the High Priestess. This could certainly be Scorpio using that intuition. I mean, High Priestess is Pisces energy, but it always reminds me of Scorpio. Highly intuitive, very spiritual. Um, the High Priestess does believe in, you know, manifesting and she doesn't always reveal what she knows. It can be the energy of kind of being silent, not showing your cards, right? Closed off. All right, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Keep in mind, it may or may not resonate. It's general. So if this one doesn't resonate for you, check out your Moon or your Rising sign. All right, one more shuffle. What does Scorpio need to know about love? The 15th through the 31st, 2021. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's up. Something's, something's going to come in here. Um, with this Wheel of Fortune as your outcome, it's unexpected, but it's in your favor, right? Things are, are moving here in the positive direction. In the past, what's this High Priestess for Scorpio in love? this connection and the eight of coins. All right. So somebody here secretly, there was like this closed off energy. If you're currently with this person wanted to put forth the effort, but being kind of silent about it, right? If you're on a break, they still wanted to work on this. Yeah. And kind of clear the air with the five of wands in reverse. That's the energy that happened here in the recent past. They may not have told you this, but there's that energy. And even if you are partnered with someone, it's very much the energy of, hmm, I'm just going to be silent. It, it's very scorpionic for me, right? But there is this kind of clearing of the air or not wanting drama or conflict. And therefore, right now we have temperance, Sagittarius energy. Why is temperance here currently? The three of wands. Yeah, so being very, very patient, wanting to bring some sort of healing and kind of just being lukewarm. It's like, let's let's work together, right? Let's cooperate in some way. But again, there's this energy with the three of wands of kind of holding back. It's very mysterious. I feel like for a lot of you, this is a reading that maybe someone you have a strong connection with, but you're not expressing or they are kind of just waiting on their mind, though, is a king of pentacles. Taurus energy, usually, but it doesn't have to be. 
Yeah, there's that high priestess again. Scorpio, you're dealing with someone, um, even if you're with them um, or somebody hasn't expressed themselves to you, that they, they want something with you here, though. Why is this King of Pentacles and the High Priestess here? Pisces energy. Yeah, see, the King of Wands. Fire and Earth. Leo Sag Aries. Uh, usually Sagittarius with that King of Wands. This is an energy of two things. Again, you're, you're already partnered with someone and they're not expressing to you that they want it all. Like it's a very mature energy and very closed off. They're just kind of waiting. You both are. And you're probably not revealing a whole lot to them either. And if you're on a break from this person, um, this person isn't revealing to you as well that they want to offer something more mature. Maybe they weren't always mature in the past. There's a lot of passion on their mind. They're very attracted to you, but it's also about value and stability. But they view you as the five of wands and the page of coins. I think this person is more serious than you are, Scorpio. They view you, the perception is with that five of wands and the page of coins that you might be kind of dating other people. Like you don't want anything as serious, at least not with them. The page of coins is kind of slow. It's kind of, it can be kind of boring, right? And they view you as being conflicted about how you feel about them. Doesn't mean it's reality, but that's how they perceive you. You may just kind of look at them as a friend, but somebody has more mature long-term, passionate ideas. In their emotions, how do they feel? They have justice, Libra energy. Yep, see, and the world in reverse. Big reconciliation energy there. This could definitely be somebody you had something with in the past and you kind of cut them off or just closed yourself off to them. And now they're like, oh, oh my God, Scorpio. They realize that this would be some time. Like you've been apart for some time, but they... Finished, they feel like something's not finished. And with justice, this is about them making a, an important decision to do the right thing. Maybe they didn't in the past. Um, again, if you're already partnered with them, they, they're not done, right? They feel in their emotions that they want to treat you right. They want to do the right thing and they want it to be fair for them as well. But there does seem to kind of be this imbalance with what you want and what they want. See, they want victory moving forward. Six of Wands, Leo energy, and the star in reverse, Aquarius. But see, they're not hopeful because there is that kind of imbalance in um, the emotions and the long-term goals here. They're kind of giving up hope or faith here. And I also keep getting this energy that they feel as though you either kind of are dating other people, want to date other people, or other people are, you know, you're sought after in some way. What's coming in that you don't see? So the hidden factors coming in is this nine of pentacles. Some of you own your own business. You're very, very focused on your career and, and your value. And the emperor, Aries energy. Look at all this very like divine masculine energy. We've got the king of pentacles, the king of wands. We have the emperor. Very strong masculine energy. The emperor Aries is energy, you know, of somebody kind of like bossing up, regaining control and stability. A little bit stubborn, but they're very, they can be very nurturing. And this is somebody who has a plan and he, put it into, he puts it into action. Um, he's all about marriage and family and, you know, very masculine. But what they don't see is you kind of just want to be on your own, I think. Again, a lot of you are starting a business or you're thinking about starting a business and that's what your energy looks like. And then the two of coins. And you are certainly um, with this person, those of you that have already had a break, like a clean breakup from this person, you're apart. Um, you may have had the sense like in the past that they were going to juggle you or something like that. You're like, nope, because this Nine of Pentacles knows their worth. You know, there's a lot of value, a lot of independence tied to that energy. And it's like, I'd rather just be on my own. I'm bossing up now. I'm doing my own thing. I'm not going to be juggled. What's this two of pentacles here? You got a lot going on too. And the magician. Yeah. Virgo, Gemini energy. You're manifesting. And it's a very busy time, Scorpio, as well. I think a lot of you 
will find the energy coming in towards you is you're just too busy. You got too much going on. You're manifesting new beginnings here in your life. And some of you just aren't focused on a long-term relationship. It's very light, or at least they view you that way. And the cards are matching, right? Because you've got a lot of power and a lot of control right now in your life. And that's probably what really attracts this person to you. Your advice is this Ace of Swords. So there's victory, um, but also it's clarity, right? It's like new beginnings and a breakthrough. What's this Ace of Swords? The Two of Wands in reverse. They're saying don't take action, right? Take some time. Two of Wands in reverse is, you know, I'm kind of indecisive about the plans for my future. Um, you know, so I kind of just sit back and don't do anything. Um, again, this new kind of clarity is coming in. This Two of Wands in reverse and the Lovers. Sign of Gemini, being logistical, over-emotional, right? And when Scorpios, you know, your water sign, you can't be overly emotional. I'm a Scorpio, so I can say that. But, you know, this is, the tarot is advising you, like, use the logic, right? When you're vibrating on a high level, Scorpio will do that. And you're kind of making that choice when it comes to matters of the heart to just really not take action. I mean, that's what they're telling you to do as well. You have a lot of abundance coming into your life. And again, it's very shiny to this person. They like that, but you're just kind of not feeling it is what it, you've got the wheel of fortune here in the outcome for you and this person. What's this about? Yeah, look at you. There you are, death card. See, I told you, you're going through a lot of changes. The outcome, the energy between you and a particular person here, whomever you're thinking of, the death card is says, I'm going through huge changes. I'm rising above. Everything's changing in my life. I'm letting the old die and I'm starting again. And it's a good thing because it's on that wheel of fortune. So you have really, really good energy coming in. What's this? F? And I think a lot of you are learning, have learned and are going to continue to learn a lot of karmic lessons. And so you're letting your old ways, you know, with this particular person or love in general kind of die right? Look at that. King of Cups. There you are. Scorpio Cancer. There's another king. Some of you, this is more than one person and you're, you're just, you're vibrating on such a high level. You have all, you have a lot of people attracted to you. And I think a lot of it is because of what you're doing either for work or some sort of um, business or creative endeavor or idea, something like that. And the tarot's like, yeah, go for that. You know, and also the lovers, as your advice says, you're going to have a choice to make between a couple people. And I see that here. You've got a water sign here too, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Look at all the Scorpio. Could certainly be another Scorpio that is vibrating here through this energy. <laughs> Tell me more about the King of Cups. Certainly you guys too. That energy, Yeah, see, Ace of Cups, it's new. Um, I think you guys are going to have a choice to make between somebody whose energy is already around you. And I was like, damn. Scorpio looks good. I want to commit to them or I want to reach out to them. I value Scorpio. Like it's almost like you had to step back for them to see your worth or something like that. And you also have a new person, which makes sense because you have, you have three kings here. Now, if you're male, this is the energy that you're vibrating on that you're going to be giving out to the universe. It doesn't matter, male or female. It's all about long-term stability. People looking at you as very successful and having a lot of power and being very magnetic. But I feel like Scorpio, and a lot of you don't even see this coming, this new offer. A lot of you, it's another Scorpio, or they have Scorpio in their chart. Look at all that water and the Scorpio energy with the death and the king cups. Wheel of Fortune says, here it comes. It's coming. There's nothing you can do about it with the Wheel of Fortune. So that's what I got for love. That's interesting. That's pretty badass reading for Scorpio. What are you going to do, Scorpio? We're going to check it out in the extended reading. We want, I want to see, it'd be interesting to see who comes out in that reading. We're going to see how they feel what's going through their thoughts. Let's pull a few career cards for you, Scorpio. All right. What does Scorpio need to know in their career? How does money and career look for Scorpio? The 15th through the 31st, 2021. Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, what's up? Scorpio, what does Scorpio need to know about career and money? Like I said, this is just a quickie, just to kind of get the energy. I'll do a longer reading uh, for money and career later. What does Scorpio need to know from now through the end of the month? What's up? All right, we've got the King of Wands in reverse. Woo, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And the Nine of Cups. These are all supposed to be in the upright. I forgot, y'all. This deck is all in the upright. Sorry about that. I had it facing the wrong way. 
makes more sense anyway with that energy. Um, King of Wands, it's interesting. He's looking this way and the Knight of Pentacles is going that way. So drive, passion, right? For your career, something new, something that you're manifesting, something that leaves you happy on an emotional level, very satisfied, could be something that helps others with their emotional stability as well. Something that makes you feel really good after you help them, right? That Nine of Cups. Let's see what this is, y'all. But something very stable. Money looks good. If you're opening up a new business or you're th starting some sort of new creative kind of venture, that looks good as well. Who, I want to see who this king, who's this King of Wands here for Scorpio? Look at that. You guys came out again, the death card. You, you had an ending here and it was because you felt driven to do something else. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Ending the old, lots of death card, lots of transformations. Yeah, the here fit in reverse. This could certainly be something that's outside of the norm, right? The here fit in reverse says, I break away from tradition. And you're slowly building that with that pentacle, that Knight of Pentacles. What's this Nine of Cups here for Scorpio? What is this? Strength card. Very strong, very resilient. Being able to overpower maybe naysayers as well. And having a lot of patience to do it. And it's very, um, the nine of cups and the strength card when it comes to your career and money, this is like, yeah, this feels really good, but mm, let me not show it too much, right? Let me hold back. I feel like for a lot of you, this is something that you've been trying to manifest for a while and it's coming and you've been able to passionately go for this with that king of wands energy. Um, those of you that are leaving a job or thinking about leaving a job. Could be that you're leaving a king of wands behind that you work with, but I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that this is your energy. And a lot of times, y'all, the wands are, you know, career and something creative, the arts, something like that. It looks very positive, Scorpio, but this is something a little bit different. This is something out of the norm for you guys. Very positive. All right, you guys, I will meet you over on the extended reading. Let's dive into your person and see what they're really up to. All right, you guys, I love you hard. Love me hard back. We'll speak soon. Take care.